Jewish tradition demands that the recollection of our slavery in Egypt remain ever before us. The memory confronts us twice daily in the words just read, in Kiddush and other prayers, and at the Passover Seder. Yesterday, the United States Attorney General quoted scripture to defend the practice of separating families seeking to cross our border. So I thought I'd quote some scripture too. You shall neither wrong nor oppress a stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Exodus 22. You shall not oppress a stranger, for you know the feelings of the stranger, having yourselves been strangers in the land of Egypt. Exodus 23. When strangers reside with you in your land, you shall not wrong them. The strangers who reside with you shall be to you as your citizens. You shall love each one as yourself, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Leviticus 19. You must befriend the stranger, for you were strangers in the land of Egypt. Deuteronomy 10. You shall not subvert the rights of the stranger or the fatherless. Remember that you were a slave in Egypt and that your eternal God redeemed you there. Deuteronomy 24. No fewer than 36 times does the Torah warn against wronging the stranger. Immigration is certainly a complex issue, and I claim no expertise. And as for the New Testament references cited by the Attorney General, I'll let my Christian colleagues respond to those as they have. But I do have a pretty good understanding of the Hebrew Bible and how the rabbis read it. There's a reason why they constructed our worship so that we remember our redemption from Egypt after we recall the giving of Torah, while according to our story it happened the other way around, first the Exodus, then Sinai. The rabbis transposed the events, switched their sequence, because the redemption from Egypt was to become a paradigm for the redemption of all the earth's oppressed. That redemption we still await. Only when the joyful melody the Israelites raised up at Freedom's shore is sung by every man and woman, every parent and child, only then will we have answered the Bible's call.